This is a quick video of why I like Ham Radio Deluxe or HRD. Uh, the logging program is by far, to me, one of the most powerful. So here's how I have it set up and how I use it. And uh, the first thing I want to do is go into Layout. And, and I'm going to click on my Distance. And I'm also going to say my Transmit Power. And I also like to see the A index. You'll see where I'm going with this in a second. And the K index. And I also want to see the solar flux, which is right there. And I also want to see my lot W information. status and I click OK so here I can see uh, my transmit power the distance uh, to the station I also track the A and the K index and the solar flux whether or not uh, I've uploaded to lot W I can also add a QSL sent date and if I received one, then I can resize these. And there we go. So now I can see quickly if I've sent them a QSL card, if I've uploaded to lot W. Uh, another thing I can do is click on filters. This is my favorite part. I can see how many QSOs that I've had with CW. And uh, 1,449. Hmm. How many of those were QRP? So I'll say below 6 watts. Apply. And now I've got 1,258. I can also say, well, maybe, let's clear those. How many QSL cards did I send? Here, QSL. And I'll say begins with, or starts with, a Y for yes. And I can see down the corner here, I mailed out 152. Hmm. How many did I receive? 115. So you can see how quickly I can uh, get to information. And I can say, well, how many of those were QRP cards that I received? 37. Clear those. So let's say I want to know how many QSOs I've had in the month of December. So 76. Hmm. How many of those were from the state of Ohio? Three. I'm not sure why that would be important, but it's another example. And let's say, give me everything that was CW and was QRP. And that's everything. Now, if I click the first record and do a Control A, it selects everything. Now I can right click, do a file export and this one is text it's really CSV so if you have um, Excel or uh, Google Sheets you can import it there and this is what uh, this is the powerful thing that you can do with with Excel so I'm gonna call this my 
the test. I'll export that. Close it. Go ahead into my documents. Open up my test and let's see what happens. Hmm. Looks like a bunch of garbly gook. First thing I'm going to do is highlight the top there. Make that bold. Just so I can see it. I'm also going to turn on filters. Just in case I need to filter out anything. I'm going to highlight right here. And then I'm going to insert a pivot table. I'll say yes. Now over here in the pivot table, I can search on, say, age. And now I've got all the different ages of the hams that, uh, that it pulled in, I think, from QR, QRZ. And if I click on the filter, there's usually some bogus information, so I'll uncheck that and uncheck anybody that didn't give their age. Hit OK. Here's another neat thing. If I type in QSO complete, and then drag that to my values, it will count the age of everybody that I've had a QSO with and uh, and total up the count. So you can see that there's only one person I've talked to at QRP, remember that's what I exported this at, that was 27 years old. I've got one guy that was 93. But here's something even cooler. If I do an insert and then I do recommended charts, yeah, that's good. And look at that. There's the age group and all the, the number of QSOs that I've had. You can see the majority of them are probably from 60 to 76. And that's kind of cool. So let's undo that. Take the QSO complete. We'll keep that there under under there. Let's search on band. There's band. I'll take the band and I'll drag it to my filter. Oops, that's not what I want. And I'm gonna search on state. And yep. Let's take the age off there for a second. And looks like I've got some bad records in here, so let's uncheck that one. And anything that's blank, we can take that off. And the, right there's a total of all the QSOs by band. And there should be about 1,200. Remember, I, I unfiltered some. So that's a quick look at all the different states and at, again, at QRP, this, and it's CW, so it doesn't count uh, PSK and sideband and the other digital modes, but I can certainly do that as well. Now, suppose you're in a Q cell, and you type in the guy's call, WA2, let's say JSG. Oh, yeah, Kurt. I've had uh, Q cells with him many times. Well, here's the neat thing. If you're under Logbook, this tab, and you come down here and say, uh, let's pick the 11th. I can click on View and view our previous QSO. And I can see what the A and the K index was and what the solar, flex, solar flux was. I can see that I was running 4 watts. I can see I was doing uh, using my KX3. Or let's go down here to PSK back, on, uh, back in 2015. I can see I was using a 7200. Propagation wasn't turned on at the time, which is why it's extremely important that when you start a QSO, for some reason, this doesn't always fill in the blanks. Uh, even though it's checked, sometimes it doesn't work. So anytime I'm in a QSO, I always go to the Propagation tab 
or you can go in afterwards and click on checkbox and it'll update it. Of course I won't change it 